Welcome to Tesla Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Today we'll be covering ArcGIS Pro, creating and using map files. In ArcGIS Pro, map files are essentially a snapshot of the look and feel of a map, as well as including bookmarks and layer symbology and labeling. This includes annotations. It's a great way to standardize as well as share maps without having to share an entire project. And as long as the recipient has access to the data, then you can share even via email. If you do need to include the data, that would be a map package. But today, let me show you how useful map files are in general. So here in front of you, I have a map of Harris County, along with some demographic data that's been symbolized. It's grouped here by multiple parameters. And essentially, we're going to have a standardized view for all of these scored parameters. In addition to the parameters, we also have highways. We have some additional highlights for different areas that we've earmarked, such as the inner loop and the outer loop, which has also been bookmarked. I'd like to include these bookmarks since they'll be referenced frequently, as well as these highlighted highway layers. Another useful feature is if you right click and click properties, you can add some metadata. Now inside this project are other maps, and those maps will continue to grow. However, my associates may only need one map, or maybe two. So rather than them having to open a new template, or create a copy, or reference the same project file, we're going to utilize map files by simply right-clicking and selecting Save as Map File. Using ArcGIS Pro without a template, I can easily import my new map file. You'll see that it'll import in with the version name, as well as all the layers. Symbology is there, as well as my bookmarks. In addition to sharing, it's easy to manage your map files in the catalog pane. I can easily copy and then paste if I want to make multiple versions. It is important to note that any changes I make to the map file after it has been imported will not save to the original. That is very useful when you're working to standardize or use them as templates. However, if you do need to make changes, be sure to save your new version. So as you can see, it's very easy to share and save, as well as use these maps as starter blocks for future projects. If later down the line, we liked the look and feel of this map, but we wanted to make some adjustments, we can easily just bring in the latest map file and then make our own changes and our own versions. It is important to remember that you have to have access to the reference data that the layer files are referencing. I think this is a great stopping point. This has been Tessel Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Thank you for watching, and please be sure to visit us at www.tesselations.us. Also, subscribe and ring that bell.